Silhouette and score lines have always had a rocky relationship. It's not always been smooth sailing between the two. You could either take the chance of cutting too deep into your cardstock or deal with the perforated lines that, let's be honest, nobody was ever really fond of. Now there's a brand new solution. I swear it's like they went to marriage counseling. You have to grab the embossing tool. It's an absolute game changer when it comes to score lines. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success and I am going to walk you through exactly how to use the embossing tool to create the perfect score lines, yes, with your Silhouette machine. It's a dream come true, I promise. We're also going to create these adorable little purses, which I think are perfect for Easter baskets. I just need to get the assembly down, and this is where I need your help. If you could let me know what is the best adhesive for the 3D paper projects, I would be forever grateful. I have tried hot glue, and that worked great with some parts of it. Not so much with the other. The tape runner is not strong enough for this project, and... My craft glue is apparently subpar. So please just tell me what I need to buy. In the meantime, let's get started. I got today's design from the design store. It is design number 292684. You can grab that if you'd like to follow along. I'm going to right click on that design and then click on merge to bring it onto my mat. It is all grouped together. So we can go ahead and resize the design. Before I do that, though, I'm going to head to the transform panel over to the third tab, which is rotate. And I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees. That's going to allow me to drag the handles out just a little bit more and get the most out of my 12 by 12 pieces of paper. Let's zoom out just a bit. Grab onto this corner and pull that out. I'm going to set this back to zero rotation for now so that we can work with the score lines. And then when we're ready to set up for cutting, then we will put these back to a 45 degree angle. For right now, we're going to ungroup everything so we can work with each piece individually. We're going to go through and replace all of the score lines because these are set up as dashed lines and we want solid lines because we're going to be using the embossing tool instead of the auto blade to make our score lines. So you can set your little cross in the corner there, hold down your shift key and drag that out. Then we're going to zoom in just a bit to make sure that it is set in place properly. That looks good. Now we're going to select our new score line and the purse, right click and group. Notice that the cut lines on the purse are red and I set my score line to black. That is important in the setup. Now, once you have your score line replaced with the solid line, you can right click and delete the perforated lines. Set that to the side, that one's all done. Get rid of these score lines here, right click and delete. Now the score lines for this one are on a diagonal, so we're not going to hold down our shift key. We're just going to start drawing that out and get it set up as close to the corners as we can. If it did not come out quite right, you can either redo it or just use your green button there to tip it a little bit and then your arrows to set it in place. Let's go through and get the rest of these replaced. When it comes to the purse handles, you want to make sure that the score lines are the right size and then you want to select the score line and the handle and use your center button to make sure it's placed correctly within the handle. Now we've replaced all of our perforated score lines with solid lines. I'm going to set these back together kind of close and group them. Let's turn these to 270. Let's group all of this together and set it at the 45 degree angle again. Now we can get that cut out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper and we can get each of these cut out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Let's 
go over to the send tab here. You can see that I have red lines and blue lines. The blue lines are for carriage number two, and my material is set for score and emboss paper. The function is auto emboss, and my embossing tool is detected in carriage two. Let's take a look at carriage one. Carriage one is the red cut lines. It is set for score and emboss paper. The function is set to cut. The auto blade is detected and it's at a blade depth of two. I am gonna bump this up by one and see how that goes. So everything is set up properly. If you choose score and emboss paper, you're going to be able to cut with your carriage one, score with your carriage two. Let's get our first sheet of paper loaded and see how this goes. The Cameo 5 is going to start off with carriage one and complete all of the cuts. When it's finished cutting, it will move on to carriage two and do the scoring. This process is not very fast, but it is extremely accurate. And the results are absolutely amazing. I have literally waited for years for this and I couldn't be any happier. I came over from Cricut and Cricut had the scoring pen and it did an excellent job. When I came over to Silhouette, it was literally the only feature that I missed. Let's go through and fold all of the score lines and then we'll get on to the assembly. I'm showing you the first out of three. I used hot glue for this one and it did a great job on everything but the straps and the latch. The glue made these pieces way too stiff. Next, I tried the tape runner. That did not hold well enough. So I broke out the craft glue in the squeezy bottle. And I think that would have been the best choice if I had a decent craft glue. So don't forget to let me know which one I should be buying. I will be making more of these for Easter baskets and I really want them to hold up. If you're going to be hanging out on YouTube for a bit longer, make sure you check out this video here. Otherwise, go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.